So whether you're watching these videos from a parent's perspective or from a professional's perspective, you may well have heard of the term sensory integration. When you're in discussions about sensory processing difficulties or um, recognising sensory needs. So I'm going to explain what sensory integration is and why it's so important. So sensory integration is what everybody is doing constantly. So it's the ability for our brain to process everything that we're feeling, so all of our sensory information, because every second of the day all of our senses are working and we're receiving that information. So it's for our brain to receive that information and organise it for us to be able to concentrate and focus and attend. So for me to be sitting here right now, my brain can tell me which of my sensory inputs or which of my sensory information that it's receiving is important. So for us to be able to do that, all of our senses have to work together. So all of our seven senses are working and functioning all the time, but they need to be integrated, so connecting, working together, for us to be able to concentrate and attend. So for me to be able to look at something and go and pick it up, so say if I see a book in a shop, for me to be able to do that, I need to be able to use my visual sense, my proprioceptive sense and my vestibular sense when I'm moving, but also when I'm lifting my arm up, my tactile sense when I hold the book, when I then have the book in front of me, I might open it. If I drop the book, I might be using my auditory sense. When I open a new book, you get the smell of a new book. So all of that information is being processed together and my brain is going to highlight what's important at that moment in time. So for me to be able to go and look at a book and pick it up, I'm mainly going to be using my visual and then my movement and tactile senses. So sensory integration is important in everything that we do because it's the basis to everything. So for us to be able to develop skills, we have to be able to have our senses integrated. So our senses have to be able to integrate for us to be able to do anything. And this happens from when we're really, really young, in our brain we're receiving lots of information and it's creating pathways for this information to be easily transferable. It travels really fluidly in our brain for us to be able to understand the information that we're receiving around us. How many times have you been um, doing something and it might be that you haven't even heard a noise that's happened or um, you didn't even see something else happening because you are so engrossed, say if you're reading, you're so engrossed in that reading and that processing of that information that my auditory, so my recognising of other sounds, didn't even happen. That's an example of sensory integration and it's really, really important so you can start to see now if as difficulties in sensory integration we may well have difficulties with our sensory processing. You learn a lot more about all of this on our workshop and I go into so much more detail but um, have a look on our website at our workshops and things that we do. This is on YouTube, so make sure you subscribe, share it with other people, and then follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. There's lots more information on there about the experiences that we make, so we teach you through experience about how sensory processing difficulties feel, and ask you to think about, if I'm seeing or feeling or hearing my surroundings like that, how am I going to feel? So then if I'm feeling like that, I would want to be supported in this way or this way. Or, ah, oh, suddenly the light bulb moment of recognising that's why my son or my daughter or my friend does this or responds in this way. So our installations are really good at highlighting to you why and how some people respond to their environment and the way that they do. So check it out, check out the website.